Hi, I'd like to review today the glow-in-the-dark mushroom habitat kit. Uh, I purchased it from Amazon. Uh, it came in about two days. It was pretty quick uh, once I ordered it. I received it about two days later. Uh, this is uh, from Forest Organics. And in inside the kit, you're actually going to receive uh, what's called Panelus stipticus, or Foxfire, a glowing mushroom. Uh, first of all, I'm going to review everything that's in the kit. I'm going to show you the tools that you're going to need. Uh, and also the log prep. So let's get started. Uh, first you're going to receive these dowels, a bag full of dowels that have been inoculated with the glowing mushrooms. You'll receive a wax for sealing the log. You'll receive instructions for um, inoculating the wood uh, and also a little bit more about bioluminescence. Uh, what you'll need additionally uh, is a log. Uh, log it should be from six to ten inches long uh, and either uh, or two to four inches in diameter. Uh, you'll need a drill. You'll also need a hammer. It's as good if you uh, you don't have the strength to push the dowels into the log yourself. Uh, what was recommended was a five sixteenths drill bit. Uh, we I actually. Uh, prefer a 3 8 is a little bigger it made it easier to push the dowels in um, ruler can't hurt and a lighter uh, to to heat the wax uh, so let's get started log preparation so uh, again you want to cut a log that's been uh, recently from a, a recently cut down tree uh, and you want to drill uh, six holes in three rows making a diamond pattern um, and I'll go ahead and drill another hole here okay once you've drilled your holes you want to go ahead and pull out the dowels the noc with the inoculated dowels And I've already pre-drilled uh, pre and waxed uh, some of them to speed up the process a bit. And then what you're going to do is you're going to push the dowels into the log. You want to make it flush and there should be a little extra room on the bottom. Once you have uh, inserted the dowels, you want to go ahead and take your wax candle and seal it up. And you don't want to rotate the log until the wax is completely dried. And this seals in the moisture. Perfect. Uh, once, you've, once you've completely uh, sealed the log, you want to go ahead and uh, keep it out of the sun and you want to keep it about 74 degrees uh, for about three months. Uh, once you've completed, once that three months is up, you should have uh, glow-in-the-dark uh, mushrooms. Okay. okay. Our log is now set. Uh, and I have this, I found this container at home. Should be perfect. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in the container for three months uh, and in, then we should have a uh, glowing glowing mushrooms and that's uh, the Stipticus panelists, my glowing mushroom project.